Hey there, y'all. I'm Brendan Carroll, one of your librarians here at San Antonio College. And I'm here to show you guys a quick tutorial about how to utilize the new scanning software that we've set up to streamline your process. To begin with, we'll open up the scanning software, which is called NAPS2, stands for Not Another PDF Scanner 2, it's accessible by the desktop with this icon. As you can see, it's a very straightforward interface. What we'll want to do to begin with is ensure that we're choosing the scanner that is aligned to our needs. The sheet fed scanner, which is the one that has that little frame that allows you guys to put print size pages in is suitable for copying documents or, um, you know, making copies of notes, stuff like this. The flatbed scanner is more useful for larger books or images. To give you guys a glimpse of what this process looks like as you're physically scanning your materials, I'll demonstrate how to use both the sheet fed and the flatbed scanner. So to begin with, we'll do the sheet fed scanner. To start with, we'll check and make sure that our profile is set to the appropriate scanner. So we're gonna to go to our software, click on profiles, and you'll notice that we have sheet fed scanner as our scanner right there. So we click done. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our document. We're gonna place it face down in the sheet fed scanner. Like so. And then all we need to do is press the scan button. As you guys can see, the process takes a second, but it's working. So our scan has completed on the sheet fed scanner. And you guys can see that each scan that we run through pops up as a document, both on the desktop and on the scanning software interface. So now we'll switch profiles to the flatbed scanner and show you guys how that one works as well. So now we've selected our profile. We've changed from the sheet fed scanner to the flatbed. And as you can see, it's very simple. All I do is open up the flatbed scanner, align the page. Close the top lid of the flatbed scanner and then double click on the profile for the scanner right here. Hit OK. And now the flatbed scanner is running through the exact same process that the sheet fed scanner did. So it is scanning the document for me. The little green completion bar tells me that it just finished. And now I have a version of that document that has been scanned both on the flatbed scanner and the sheet fed scanner. Now you guys can see that we have our document in the software of the PDF scanner right here. We can do several things with it, right? We can save these PDFs, we can save them as images, we can email them out and print them. Uh, if we choose to print them, generally speaking, this process will go through the same GoPrint system that's uh, in use for all of our library printing. In order to distribute these, the best way to do so is to email them using your student email to yourself or to another device that you need you to use them for. And just as a reminder, the sheet fed scanner is suitable for regular size printed pages. The flatbed scanner is better used for textbooks or larger images, um, presentations, stuff that is not going to fit in that same sort of printed page. But generally speaking, the two scanners are going to work very similarly on the software. And if you guys have any questions at all, you can feel free to ask myself or another member of the library team for assistance. Thanks so much.